Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and I'm coming to you today as a member of the Cutting Cafe design team and I'm really happy to share with you a card that I've created. I'm using the Mojo Monday layout as my inspiration and I'm going to be making a graduation card and I'm using a couple of files from the Cutting Cafe. This one is Happy Graduation Background and you can see that I printed it out here on my color laser printer and then I trimmed it out on an angle and what you're going to see next is me stamping the inside of my card blank. It's a standard size card, eight and a half by five and a half, folded to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I usually stamp sentiments first before I affix all of my card things on just in case the stamping doesn't go well then we can recover a little bit easier. I also like to stamp on the back of my cards and um, I'm using a couple of stamps there by Hero Arts. So that is the card base. Here is the first layer of color for the card and it's a yellow sort of textured cardstock and I'm using a double face tape there to affix the uh, digital printout. This is a PDF file and what I did was I brought it into Illustrator and changed the color from black to purple text. It's kind of hard to see that on the screen but it is, it is sort of a purple color. Um, this is also part of that same printout and I just trimmed out the word graduation and that fit really well with the Mojo Monday design. So I layered the purple, the yellow, and then the text. And here what I'm doing is I am kind of pre-positioning to make sure that this purple band of paper is going to fit where I expect it to. And I use those, those words as a guide, the graduation printout there. Okay, next thing you're going to see is another element from the design and that circle and the scallop were both cut on my Silhouette digital cutter. The ribbon here is also part of the element of the design and I cut the ribbon with um, sort of a fishtail end there mirroring the Mojo Monday style and I ran that through my little uh, Xyron sticker maker there. It makes it really sticky <laughs> and a, a great way to adhere ribbon to cardstock and get a really nice um, a nice strong bond. One of the things that I do is I use that a lot when I do die cutting. You get a, a good uh, even distribution of adhesive that way. So then what I'm doing is I'm running the purple strip and then the two ribbons all through my little sticker maker there. It can run fairly thick things, not so wide but, but thick. And you just want to make sure that whatever you're running through is face up so the adhesive adheres to the back of the item. So here I am placing the purple band with the ribbon and I just want to position and make sure that my scallops and my circle, or actually my oval, are going to fit properly. I'm going to be placing another design element from the Cutting Cafe here and it's um, the graduation cap or mortarboard as I call it. And that's what it looks like when it's finished. So I did cut that out using the silhouette also and I cut that through Illustrator. And here I am just um, using the same purple ink to uh, just give a little bit more dimension to the edges. And it is a two piece cut so you get some, some dimension to the item once you adhere it to your cardstock. So what you're going to see here is how I made the little faux tassel and I'm using some inexpensive white embroidery floss and I'm just going to cut a piece. It's probably oh about the length of your index finger, about six inches I would guess. And you're going to see me do this a couple of times and I'm making a knot in the end and that's to kind of simulate the knot where the tassel would fall. And I, I go through a couple of times so I get a, a pretty good size knot. 
and I'm going to try to do this so it's more against that purple color so you can see the white string a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just pulling the knot down and what I'm doing here is separating the strands of the embroidery floss so that kind of makes a little bit more of that kind of tassel look. But what I realized when I was doing that was I was doing it a little too aggressively and it curled the embroidery floss even more than I wanted to. So you're going to see me do this whole process over again. What I'm doing now is I'm measuring where I want the little knot to fall before I assemble the two pieces. And that's when I realize that, that I'm just too curled there. So you get to watch this again. I'm going to retie the knot. And like I said, I'm, I'm making two loops here. You could probably do two or three actually to just make a nice, nice size knot there. Now I'm going to measure again and I and I want that knot to fall right below the uh, the edge of the cap there, the graduation hat. So I'm going to be moving that down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape or cellophane tape and tape my cord onto the back side to hold it in place. Now you could probably use a a pop dot or anything like that to do that but I'm just going to use a little piece of tape here. I just found that that was a little bit faster and a little bit more forgiving since I uh, wanted to move it a little bit. So you can kind of see there how I'm positioning it and you'll never see that piece of tape. Now I've decided to flare out the the six strands of embroidered floss again before I tape it to the back because I didn't want to risk tearing the cardstock. Okay, so now you can see me working on the positioning there. And there goes the tape. And that little extra tail is eventually going to get trimmed off. So my knot's a little bit higher than I want and I do go back and reposition that so that it's down a little bit further. I'm using a clear um, sticky dot here to hold the white string in place before I position the, um, the top layer of the mortar board. Okay. And now I'm going to put on the pop dots and the pop dots are going to uh, help to give some dimension to the top layer of the die cut. As I mentioned these die cuts do come from this uh, online store called The Cutting Cafe and I'm a member of the video design team and so I get to use the files to make some cards and this card happens to be for my niece who's graduating from high school this year. And one of the nice things about making a graduation card is you can color coordinate to your uh, your recipient's school so that's pretty fun. And hers happens to be I think purple and gold based on going to the website of the school she attends. And now I'm going to put pop dots on the back of the um, scalloped oval and now the last element of the Mojo Monday design are uh, could be bling, could have been stickles, could have been buttons but I chose to use these uh, bling goodies and now I'm going to adhere the front of my card uh, to the front of the card base and there that goes Thanks for watching. Um, visit my blog at paperologist.blogspot.com to see some more pictures of the cards. I appreciate you watching. Please leave a message. Have a great day.